Welcome to the woodworking class at Federal Hawking High School. Composed of 7th, 8th, and 9th graders, it's one of six electives that make up the first semester of the agriculture program at the Southeastern Ohio School. A member of the Future Farmers of America, Federal Hawking's local chapter boasts a relatively thriving program in a rural area where agriculture is not a predominant industry. This year, a record 189 FedHawk students chose the agriculture program as their elective, with classes ranging from small engines to horticulture to the business of agriculture, married cattle farmers Joanne and Scott Pfeiffer team up to give a wide variety of lessons in the agriculture industry. Most of their students eventually find a career in something else, but the Pfeiffer's enthusiasm and knowledge has led to an increase in FedHawk FFA membership over the past few years. If our kids leave our program and know where their food comes from, and they understand how to read a nutritional label or listen to an advertisement on on you know TV and know what it took to produce that product and the jobs involved in getting that product to their table, you would be tickled to death. The FFA's origins trace back to nineteen seventeen with the passing of the Smith Hughes Act a piece of legislation that focused on adopting agriculture education programs in rural areas to better prepare young people who weren't going to use a classical education in their career. Since then, the program has expanded to 8,658 local chapters across all 50 states. The biggest national concern is not finding students who are interested in the industry, but teachers who are qualified to teach the proper skills. Luckily for federal hawking students, the Pfeiffers, both graduates from Ohio State's Agriculture School, have those skills. Joanne focuses on the business and science aspect of the industry, while Scott teaches more of the mechanical side, giving students a wide variety of electives to choose from. This year, they even brought in two beehives as an in-class example of how to properly raise livestock. Although limited by funding, the FedHawk chapter students routinely win FFA awards in events ranging from agriculture engineering to interview contests. While most will never have a career in agriculture, these students are learning important life skills that will help prepare them for jobs in countless industries, just like the Smith-Hughes Act called for over 100 years ago.